Wow. Look at this place. It's surreal. You hear that? All the sounds. They keep getting louder and softer. Watch yourselves. It's so pretty. Watch out! Get back, Leia! Huh? Look out! Jude! What's that? Look at its head, Jude! Is that the spirit fossil? <sighs> Leia, don't get too close! Don't worry, Jude. I'll get that fossil. Watch this! Jeez, why is this thing so darn big? It must be using the spirit fossil as a source of energy. I can't think of any other explanation. Let's just focus on beating it. Right on point. Get him. Focus. That's one. Got it. Tempest Crash! Crash. Skill Strike! Strike. Huh. Huh. Focus. That's one. Got it. Tempest Crash! Huh. Huh. Sweet! Huh. Focus! Let's do this! Got it! Tempest Crash! Now! This won't stop me! Get him! Dude! You're going to pay for that. Get away from them, you beast!
Showed up, Mila. I won't let anyone down. I'm just getting started. Excellent. You were able to use the Asperixis. Goodness, this is some device you humans have come up with. How bad's the pain? Well, it's not worse than I imagined, but it's considerable. I'm sorry, I should have been more careful. But you retrieved the spirit fossil for me. If anything, I'm in your debt. Thanks. Let's get back to town. I'll get the wheelchair. You look like you want to say something. You can tell me. Jude can't hear you. The thing is, when Jude learned that the Asperixis would cause you incredible agony, I thought for sure he'd call off the procedure, even though it could help you. Jude knows that there is something I must do. Yeah, but still, the old Jude would never do that. Sounds like you know why he is the way he is. Uh... Ever since we arrived here, you've been doing your best to avoid giving him opportunities to step in and help. So, you noticed. Jude was always home alone when he was little. His parents do seem preoccupied with work. Yeah. I don't think Jude ever realized it himself, but... I think he was really lonely. I imagine so. But what does that have to do with how Jude is now? I think he's just eager to get involved with other people somehow. I get it. He wants to feel needed. That's why he's so helpful. Exactly. He would never do anything that might push people away. But the Jude who came back with you isn't quite the same Jude who left. I figured that out from watching you. You're the one who changed him. I haven't done anything. Jude made his own choices. <sighs> Sorry. I think I'm at my limit. Mila! Don't worry. She just passed out. I don't mind pushing the wheelchair on the way back. Uh, okay. Why the sudden burst of compassion? Why? Is there anything wrong with it? Well, no. Just unexpected, I guess. What can I say? I'm feeling really inspired by your friend here. Thank you. 